Today, uh, we'll study some tumorous conditions in the vulva. Before starting the tumors of vulva, let's have a review of virology. A very important virus that have a role in tumors of female genital tract and that virus is human papilloma virus. Human papilloma virus is a DNA virus. Human papilloma virus is a DNA virus and it is of two types. A high risk High risk human papilloma virus and a low risk human papilloma virus. A high risk human papilloma virus is called a high risk because it have an increased risk of causing malignant uh, or uh, cervical or uh, vaginal or vulvar intra epithelial neoplasias. Whereas low risk is having a low risk of causing cancers. This now what defines what defines that whether a human papilloma virus is a high risk virus or whether it is a low risk virus. It depends upon the DNA sequence. This thing depends upon the DNA sequence of human papilloma virus. Let's say, and this is a human papilloma virus, and it is the DNA of human papilloma virus. We magnify this DNA. We magnify this DNA on both sides. The DNA of low risk human papilloma virus and DNA of high risk human papilloma virus. And there is some difference in both these DNAs. In high risk human papilloma virus, uh, there are certain genes, and these genes are responsible for production of two types of proteins that is, E6 and E7. Whereas the low risk human papilloma virus lacks these two proteins, E6 and E7. Now, uh, let's go into detail that what will these E6 and E7 proteins do. Now, if this human papilloma virus infects a vulvar cell or a cervical cell or a vaginal cell, because human papilloma virus is a virus that infects this virus infects lower genital tract and lower genital tract is composed of vagina, vulva and cervix. This, so let's suppose this is the cell and in the cell as you, and in the cell's nucleus as you people know, there are certain types of genes. There are some proton genes and there are some Tumor suppressor genes. And these proto oncogenes are the accelerators, whereas these tumor suppressor genes are brakes. These tumor suppressor genes suppress the uh, suppress the 
proto-oncogenes in such a way that it, they suppress the progression of a tumor. There are two very important tumor suppressor genes. Number one is P53 and another one is RB. So we are not going to in the detail of P53 and RB but just to know that P53 and RB both suppresses the progression of tumors. And if, if this cell is infected by a high-risk human papilloma virus, that has having certain genes which can produce proteins E6 and E7. So when these E6 and E7 goes into these cells, E6 will knock out P53 and E7 will knock out RB. And this cell it will now accelerate, accelerate and accelerate such that we will have, initially we will have a dysplastic change. Initially we will have a dysplastic change. So this happens with a high risk human papilloma virus. Whereas a low risk human papilloma virus does not result in dysplasia. dysplasia. And what, what is going to happen? What is going to happen when a low risk human papilloma virus infects you? It will result in the condition called condyloma. And our first disease is a first tumorous condition we will go, we will uh, study now is condyloma. Got this point? Yes, sir. We are having two types of human papilloma virus uh, that is high risk and low risk. Human papilloma virus that is high risk will progress to carcinoma, whereas human papilloma virus that is low risk will cause condyloma. Condyloma is a warty a new plasm. Condyloma is a warty a new plasm of vulva. Condyloma is a warty a new plasm of vulva and it's of two types. Condyloma is of two types. Number one is Condyloma Latin and the second one is Condyloma Acuminata. Number one is Condyloma Latin and the second one is Condyloma Acuminata. Have you ever heard this name Condyloma Letta? I bet you have heard it. Yes, sir. When? Condyloma Letta is present in secondary syphilis. Got it now? Mm. Candaloma letta is present in secondary syphilis, whereas Candaloma acuminata is present when HPV infects the vulva. And which type of HPV? The lowest HPV. And sorry, I don't. I, I sorry, I missed that. The lowest. Low risk human papilloma viruses are type 6 and type 11. Claim this. The low risk human papilloma viruses are type 6 and type 11. Whereas the high risk human papilloma viruses are 16, 18, 31, 33.
the low risk human papilloma virus are type 6 and 11, whereas the high risk human papilloma virus are 16, 18, 31, and 33. So, when a low risk human papilloma virus infects vulva, the condition will be known as condyloma acuminata. And most commonly, that low risk human papilloma virus is type 6 human papilloma virus. So, condition resulting from condyloma lata will be flat. The, the lesions will be flat. The, but whereas in Candeloma acuminata, the lesions uh, may be flat, but mostly the lesions are apule like and they are rugated, they are erythematous. And they are bulging. Candeloma letta are mostly flat. Candeloma acuminata can be flat, but mostly candeloma acuminata are papules, and these papules are rugated, and they are erythematous, and they are bulging, and this candeloma letta are few in number. Whereas candeloma acuminata are multiple lesions. Candeloma acuminata are multiple lesions, many lesions. Candeloma letta were few, they were flat. Uh, candeloma acuminata are multiple. Okay, so now uh, what was the size? A size of candeloma acuminata ranges from millimeters to centimeters so it is a huge size it can range from millimeters to centimeters candeloma acuminata look like somewhat like round the vulva this or orifice there are numerous lesions and these lesions are rugated and they are bulging they are rugated and they are bulging and they are uh, papule like and they are erythematous so going into the detail of candeloma acuminata candeloma acuminata under microscope under microscope they will look like they will have three important features first of all there will be pilocytic change pilocytic change second we, uh, there will be acanthosis and thirdly there will be hyperkeratosis under microscope, when we look at candeloma acuminata, let's say we are seeing this candeloma acuminata under microscope, it will have hyperkeratosis, it will have a big keratin layer, it will have quilocytic change. And what is this quilocytic change? Quilocytic change refers to empty looking empty looking vacuolated cells like the cells will be will have small nuclei and they will be empty looking they will be empty. vacuolated empty looking and what is acanthosis um, there are two malfigans layer in our epidermis that are stratum spinosum, stratum spinosum and stratum basal. So this acanthosis refers to condition when stratum spinosum and stratum basal are taken. So there are three microscopic changes. First of all, there will be 
pyrocytic change, which refers to the epithelial cells, the epidermal cells will be empty looking and they will have a small nuclei and these nuclei will have rough surfaces. These nuclei will have rough surfaces and they will be vacuolated. This is known as pyrocytic change. Achenposis. There are two Malfigan layers, stratum spinosum and stratum basale. And in this condition, in candeloma, candelometa accumulata, these two layers will be thickened. And there will be hyperkeratosis. This will be the microscopic change. Now another thing. Here is a pyrocytic change. Remember this. Remember this. Whenever there is HPV, whenever there is HPV, whether this HPV is a high risk HPV, whether this HPV is a low risk HPV, there will be pyrocytic change always present. So HPV and pyrocytic change always come together. So at last uh, uh, we'll go we'll go into the detail. Okay, at last, what is the color of this uh, candelometa? The color of this candelometa letter will be somewhat red pinkish, red pinkish to pink brown. Summarizing the condition now. Um, Candeloma are watery nucleosomes of vulva. There are of, these are of two types: Candelometa leta and Candelometa acuminata. Uh, Candelometa leta were present during the secondary stage of the syphilis, and these Candelometa leta are mostly they are flat and they are uh, few in number. Whereas Candelometa acuminata they are caused by low risk HPV virus. Mostly the virus is HPV virus type 6 and they will be papules, they will be rugated, they will be anthematous and they will be bulging and they will be, have, they will be numerous in number and they will, uh, their color will range from uh, red pink to pink brown and their size will be from some certain millimeters to uh, centimeters and uh, under microscope there will be three things, there will be pyrocytic change, there will be acanthosis and there will be hyperkeratosis. Thank you. Thank you.